can 700 million stars just disappear like that? And why do other objects appear out of nowhere? Scientists are faced with an unsolvable puzzle. Comparisons with star catalogs from the last 100 years have shown that the stars have disappeared just like that. There were no signs of a supernovae or any events that could explain the disappearance of the stars. Just as mysterious is the sudden appearance of objects that should not actually exist. Have scientists made a mistake here? Are we dealing with a completely new phenomenon in astrophysics? Or do the objects come from a parallel world? It sounds crazy to imagine large numbers of stars simply disappearing, but it is a reality. Because this phenomenon is so mysterious, a special project has been set up to investigate the inexplicable disappearance and reappearance of stars and other objects. VASCO stands for Vanishing and Appearing Sources During a Century of Observations. The research program compared over 600 million objects collected in star catalogs. For around 100 years, we humans have been mapping the universe, naming stars, observing, and researching them. In the process, several sky maps and star catalogs have been created. When astronomers noticed that there were stark differences between the catalogs, it became apparent that large numbers of stars had simply disappeared, while other objects had appeared. But stars don't actually disappear just like that. For years, the researchers meticulously compared star registers and observation catalogs from a century ago, and the results became increasingly alarming. Around 100 stars were simply swallowed up by space and never reappeared. Countless stars disappear temporarily and then mysteriously become visible again, and completely new stars appear without first going through the process of starbirth. In direct comparisons of the U.S. Naval Observatory catalog, with the more recent data from PanStars in Hawaii, 150,000 additional candidates emerged that were once there but could not be observed by PanStars. These objects all had one thing in common. They were redder in color and had larger proper motions than most of the other objects in the U.S. Naval Observatory catalog. After a visual examination of about 24,000 of these candidates, the VASCO team found about 100 points in space that were only visible in the red spectrum at a single point in time. But what does this mean? Were these objects not stars at all, or is it a previously unknown phenomenon? Stars don't just disappear. Who would have thought that there could be such crazy explanations for the disappearance of stars? Before we look at the most incredible theories, Let's take a look at the classic approaches used by scientists to explain the seemingly sudden disappearance of stars and other objects in the universe. Stars are normally born in rapidly rotating dust disks and have different lifetimes depending on their type and luminosity. The process of star birth and death are now very well described mathematically and physically. Depending on the mass of the star, stars either lose their luminosity and are no longer visible or they explode in a brilliant supernova. Massive stars eject almost all of their remaining mass into the universe during their enormous explosion. A mixture of gases and matter is then dispersed until it has become fine dust or gas clouds, and it is precisely this matter and gases that eventually gather together to form a cloud in which new stars are born. In the place where the star once was, a black hole or a rapidly rotating neutron star remains. Smaller stars do not necessarily have to explode. They can retain their shape and mass. At the end of their lifetime, the combustion mechanisms simply stop and they continue to drift through the universe as cooled stars. If stars suddenly disappear from maps, they must either have exploded or simply lost their light. However, both events would leave traces for astronomers to follow. But this is certainly not the case with the vanished stars of the VASCO project. They disappeared long before they were old enough to go supernova or go dark. Scientists were the first to find a coherent explanation for this. Some of the objects could be obscured by upstream black holes or other phenomena, and we just don't see them temporarily because of this. Normally, black holes actually create magnification effects due to their mass, 
but there are certain constellations in which a star can become invisible behind a black hole. The second explanation, which is still within the framework of the normal laws of physics, is the assumption that there are dead observation angles in the observable universe. More exciting is the idea that upstream and previously unknown phenomena obscure the stars. It is possible that there are dark objects in the universe that we do not yet know about because they do not emit or absorb light. Such objects could also consist of a previously unknown form of matter. Large dust clouds can also obscure stars. The dust itself is not visible to our telescopes, and if it is dense enough, it can obscure entire regions of the universe. However, such dust clouds usually move on and the stars become visible again. The stars that disappeared in the Vasco project, however, stayed gone. This brings us to the most exciting theory about why stars can simply disappear. In the 1960s, the Russian astronomer Nikolai Kardashev put forward a theory that advanced civilizations could exist in space that generate energy directly from stars. Later, the American physicist Freeman Dyson modeled the Dyson sphere named after him. These are hypothetical constructs that are built directly around stars in order to harvest their energy. Whether these constructs actually darken the star to such an extent that it becomes invisible is questionable, however. If civilizations were to do this in their own star systems, they would be depriving themselves of light. However, extremely advanced species could also use neighboring stars in the universe to generate energy. Some scientists also use this to explain the voids. For example, huge empty spaces in which there is virtually nothing. Where there would otherwise be 1,000 galaxies in the same space, they may only be one in a void. Proponents of Kardashev's ideas put forth the possibility that these areas in the universe are covered by gigantic Dyson spheres. Tabby's star was simply gone. In 2015, astronomer Tabitha S. Boyajian discovered a star that was included in the star catalog as KIC 8462852 and was later named Tabby's star after its discoverer. The star showed unusual and drastic fluctuations in brightness that went far beyond anything astronomers had ever observed in other stars. The brightness of Tabby's star dropped by up to 22% at irregular intervals, and there was no explanation for this phenomenon. Here too, the idea of a Dyson sphere came into play. However, the scientist Boyajian and her colleagues were less enamored of the alien theory and continued to observe the phenomenon. They later presented a paper suggesting that Tabby's star was most likely dimmed by an irregular collection of dust. Alien fans were disappointed, but all those who would prefer the Dyson sphere can rejoice, as the rational explanation of dust and other materials has not yet been 100% proven either. Invisible supernovae and black holes? Let's look at another exciting possibility that scientists are now considering to explain the mysterious disappearance of stars after all. Can a star merge directly into a black hole without causing a bright supernova explosion? Yes, in purely mathematical terms, this is possible, but the theory still poses a challenge to our traditional understanding of stellar evolution. Until now, astronomers believed that massive stars end their lives in a spectacular explosion, but there may be other ways in which stars evolve. This is where the idea of a dark supernova comes into play. This whole new theory also divides the community of international astronomers. The fact is that supernovae have so far been one of the less well-researched area of astronomy. We know a lot in theory, but in practice, these events are so rare that there is a lack of real observational data. But we are at the dawn of a new era in cosmology. Recent observations from the James Webb Space Telescope are turning our old astrophysics and cosmology on its head. Scientists are confronted with the fact that old concepts about star formation and the formation of black holes are very probably wrong. The reasons for this are galaxies that are so old that their formation time extends beyond the Big Bang, and a black hole that is so gigantic and old that it should not actually exist. These two observations gave researchers the idea that dust clouds can collapse directly into black holes 
without a star forming first. If this is possible, we must also consider that stars can somehow pass away without leaving a trace. Identifying candidates for invisible supernovae is a challenging task. After all, how can we see something that emits no light? We have two options here. Firstly, we can now detect such changes using gravitational wave sensors. Gravitational waves are emitted by almost all cosmic events. Another possibility is radio astronomy, which does not record light signals, but radiation of all kinds. It is possible that we have already observed the data from these phenomena, but have not understood them because we do not know them. Computer programs and algorithms comb through all the observable data from large radio telescopes and gravitational wave sensors around the clock. If something is noticed here that cannot be explained by known phenomena, scientists can investigate the matter. However, not all irregularities are immediately noticeable in the incredibly large amounts of data. After all, nobody noticed for a long time that thousands of stars simply disappear in the cosmos. Are we looking into a parallel universe? While it sounds unbelievable, it has been proven that parallel worlds can exist. The evidence of these theories lies in the world of quanta. So far, the evidence is lacking in the observable universe. It is possible that the apparent disappearance of stars is such evidence which we have not yet understood. It is possible that stars from parallel dimensions or universes appear briefly and then a dimensional gate closes again and the stars are gone. Objects can just as easily appear in this way. These explanations are not yet recognized by classical physics, and yet there is increasing evidence for the multiverse. The so-called voids are also seen as evidence of parallel worlds. The gigantic voids could be something like scar tissue, where two universes once intersected or collided. Intriguingly, the Vasco project also observed the sudden appearance of objects or structures that were not there before. Stars or other objects appear in places where they had not been detected 50 or 100 years before. This is a long period of time for a human being, but it is only an instant compared to the times of star formation. It is impossible for the luminous stars to be born or die just like that within 100 years. Much more likely are the explanations that we are dealing with the phenomenon that cannot be described with our conventional physics. Subscribe now to never miss an incredible video.